a class. In this video, we are going to study heat counts, nausea, and vomiting. The reason why we introduce the, all these three diseases in one video is that these, although they are completely different diseases, especially hiccups and vomiting. One's related, one is related to the diaphragm, the other one is related to the stomach. But they are all the pathogenesis. It's very similar, the counter flow of stomach qi. The hiccups are the in voluntary contraction of the diaphragm. The etiology is the qi kind of flow. So from the symptom of hiccups, what we see is the qi moving from the middle jaw, from the stomach, all the way up to the to the mouth, so the, the qi, the qi supposed to go downwards to the large intestine, to the intestine, small intestine, to a large intestine. But now, the food from the digestive system, from the mouth all the way to the esophageal to the to the small intestine and large intestine all the way is supposed to go downwards. But now he cups it goes upwards. That's why we said counter flow. And then from for nausea, for vomiting, although there are different pathogens of hiccups and nausea and vomiting, but the pathogenesis is the same. It's he counter flow. So in the treatment principles, we're going to recover the qi circulation. You can start from the, you can focus on the upper jaw, middle jaw, or lower jaw, depends on individuals. The symptoms are very similar to the stomach ache. Coldness, the fire, the fire, the flame, the fire is, have the chance to move upwards. So in this situation, the patient will present as a red tongue, stomach fire, foul smell, liver cheese stagnation. Emotion changes. When this patient feels depressed or angry, the hiccups become worse, liver cheese stagnation. And sometimes after hiccups, the patient may feel relief. This also can reflect qi stagnation. Regulate the qi. Rung 22, then 12, also local points. Rung 17. It's the meeting point, the qi meeting points. About the 17 per cardinal 6, summer 36, to regulate all these points, to regulate the qi. Per cardinal 6, we have mentioned in the stomach ache. But 17 is from the, for the blood circulation. As we study more, all these the selections of points sometimes are quite similar. It's level T stagnation, level 14, level 3. Spleen and stomach yang deficiency, back su points. The back su points are more used to tonify. So to tonify the spleen, to tonify the stomach, we also can use reinforcing manipulation techniques. We also can use more seduction. Auricular acupuncture, you also can apply. The nausea and vomiting. Whenever you see nausea and vomiting, 
you're going to differentiate into deficiency and excess. Summer deficiency. These are all very similar to, stom to stomach ache. But no matter what kind of pathogens, as long as it results in stomach qi counterflow, it will result in vomiting or nausea. The definition of some diseases is important. That in a test, you may be asked this. Please define vomiting. So you need to give me the sentences. So we didn't discuss the etiology, the pathogens of the vomiting and nausea in detail. They are quite similar, so you can study by yourself. From vomiting and nausea, you need to differentiate with other. We can differentiate from the vomits. For example, vomits a lot of sour smell, or sour, the patient will tell you sour taste. And foul smell, that's food, that, the food stagnation. If the, the vomiting, the patient may present, may experience bitter taste and yellow fluid. This may due to the, the heat in gallbladder. The patient vomits a sour fluid, green color. This may due to the liver heat. It vomits a lot of phlegm. This is internal phlegm. So according to different vomits, you're going to select different points because these vomits can help, help you to differentiate the pathogens. If the, the patient vomits a clear fluid, uh, scanty volume or scanty clear fluid. This is stomach deficiency, especially stomach qi deficiency. These are the just common. These are the common central differentiation. Simon principles to regulate the stomach qi due to liver qi. The treatment principles to regulate the stomach qi. The common points, 12, blood 21, pericardium 6, stomach 36. As you can see here, the diseases that we have introduced in this category, some ache becomes nausea and vomiting. The selection of points are quite similar. The local points, the back through points, and special points such as pericardium 6, stomach 36, the low C points of stomach, because nausea and vomiting are related to stomach. Length, summer 40. Food retention, summer 30, 21. These are other techniques that you can apply during your treatment. Here we introduce the hiccups, nausea, and vomiting very briefly. Three months are not complicated, but in when we see a patient with vomiting or nausea, we need to differentiate, we need to exclude some other diseases, especially for chronic vomiting or chronic nausea. We need to differentiate with such as stomach cancer. Patient suffer from stomach cancer. We also can see from the facial complexion 
or the body con con the body shape. The sudden change of the body weight also can help you to identify and other symptoms as well as other blood tests such as the tumor markers. This is all may be your support to this to do when you differentiate the disease. So these are something you need to think about. Acupuncture can be used for vomiting and nausea and it works quite effectively but in the meantime we need we also need to treat the original disease, the primary disease, especially if the vomiting and nausea is are caused by other diseases such as the, the tumor. The patient advice, you also need to ask the patient to, to have a healthy diet, do not overeat, eat less greasy food, less ice, less ice cold food, less spicy food. You also need to ask the patient to look after their diet, this is the same as stomach ache. So we need to ask the patient to have a healthy diet, avoid too hungry or overeat, less greasy food, less alcohol intake, less spicy food. This can help them to maintain or to prevent the reoccurrence of stomach ache or nausea or vomiting. Thank you for your attention.